from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. And today's starting pitcher, Shohei Otani. What's the word on him? It's got that splitter, and it's a pitch that swings and misses, calm fast, and they come often. Very difficult to pick up out of his hand. Ready to go? Here's the Cardinal DH, Brendan Donovan. The pitch. Just missed. Counts 1-0. This one lifted in the air, left field. He's got it. One up, one down. Here's a Cardinals lineup now. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit. And then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. One down, base is empty. And now it's even up. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. And he deals. Got him swinging. Two gone now. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. And now here is Lars right. Newtbar. There's the strike. Two outs That's off the ball. mark there, and it's one and one. Hey. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. And a one two. That Two-oh. one ran inside, Two-oh. almost got him. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. And down in order go the Cardinals. The Dodger is coming up and we are scoreless. You're dialed into the show. Back here in L.A. And now here's the starter for St. Louis. Sonny Gray. What do we need to know here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And a pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. And now the 1. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one hops against the fence. Now he'll turn for second, and he's got a leadoff double. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. At the ball. Pitch misses. 1-0. Oh. No one, no strike. Man at second. Inside, just missed. got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside really think the outer half is open and the right hander deals he fouls it off we'll do it again the pitch struck him out looking And up to the plate is Will Smith. Little chopper rolls foul. Runner at second here, one gone. There's a strike. And now one and two. Pretty standard high O2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. And now two and two. And he hits a ground ball right side. That's a base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team that got right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Max Muncy at the dish. Fall off foul. On third, Smith at first, one gone. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. towering shot and they lead it it's three nothing listen to these fans this place is absolutely buzzing right now you can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. One down. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. And that's oh, off it. the inside edge. And it's 1-0. Still only one out here in the inning. And that's downed it away. 
Gray. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. And here it comes. Well, he's been it's good for the most three. part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. One out, base is empty. And that one hammered. Walker going back. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. And with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Boog, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. Reaching for it, makes the catch. <laughs> Big three-run shot for the Dodgers. It's now 3-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Second inning, to set to go. Corner. Here's Nolan Arenado. And when you talk Nolan. about elite defensive Nolan. third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. And a pitch. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Next pitch in for a strike. And a count one and one. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite. Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. The 2-2. Two -two. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. And that one is inside ball one. When you look at the ability to save runs defensively, but then also put runs up on the scoreboard, that's the kind of player that every championship team needs to have. One down, base is empty. That one finds the zone, and the count one and one. And a good eye there. Base is empty one away here at the top of the second. And down on strikes. Now two away. Two outs, base is empty. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Nolan Gorman. That's in there. Strike one. Two outs, base is empty. Just off the outside edge. And a count even one and one. Right through there for a strike. Stays alive. Three. 
got him looking. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. here at Dodger Stadium, bottom of the second. Chris Taylor now. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. The wind of the pitch, just missed. Taylor, a former All-Star, 33 years old, and he was a fifth-round pick back in 2012. Strike on the inside corner, and one and one. Patrick Johnson behind the plate. Patty Johnson the Sunbird, but I'd ask permission first before I called him that. Does a pretty good job back there. Occasionally we'll see a couple of sideways looks from players, but that kind of comes with the territory, right? Good well, eye in that spot. In the air, right field. Newt Bar moves under it. And there's one away. Batting eight, the right fielder, Jason. Here's Jason Hayward. In there at the knees. That's strike one. And that's in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Kicks and deals. Late on that fastball. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet Ball. spot of the bat to the baseball. Gavin now Lux in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Lux measures six feet two inches, 190 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. Hey. And that's in for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. A little out front there as he swings through it. Two, two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one got a piece of him. He had a one-two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Now it's Mookie Betts. Don't know where to go on that one. Just squared him up right in the back. Doubled leading off the ball game. Then came around to score the first run of the game. Chopped left side. Over to Goldie. Inning over. One left for L.A., but they lead it 3-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker. Otani back to work. There's the strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. For strike two. Well, that's that strike right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Him. Oh, and two now. Just nope, misses down. with that one. It's a good take.
Riding to the play. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Ball nope, one low. Ball. ball one, no strike. And Two another ball. ball. No Base is empty, one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Backed Rito. off the plate that time. Righty delivers. Hey. Three no one, ball. and he couldn't come up with it. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. Man at first with one gone. Mason Wynn digs in now. Check swing went around. One one. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. That nope. one misses, one. and that's ball one. One and one. First, Edmund back on a dive. Man at first, one away. This is the zone, and he gets him to chase. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Had him way out front of the slur. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. Going one. All one's the count. Two outs. And he grounds one to the right side. Oh. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So one left for the Cardinals. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. And we're back as we go to the last of the third. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. Freeman. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That one not close. Two and two. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. He's there. He's got it. One away. The batter. The catcher. The batter now will be Will Smith. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. And a strike in there. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes.
The one two knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And they'll do it again. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Got him swinging for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. The third baseman, number 13. And now it's Max Muncy. He's already homered here in this one. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. Pitch no, misses down. there. Now 2-0. 2-0 oh. oh count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. Muncy hits one in the air. Edmund in position. And that is that. to the fourth and now it's going to be Paul Goldschmidt. The right hander back to work. That one missing inside. You know these cards just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations and that's been true again today. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Hernandez settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. One down, base is empty. That one pushed to the left and foul. The one one. Good that eye right there. Down. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Base hit center field. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Man, at first, here's Nolan Arenado. Foul ball there. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into one this ball, ball game. Strike. Pitch misses there. One ball, one strike. That's inside. inside ball two. The Redbirds trailing by three. Top half of inning number four. And that's in there at the knees. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stand on that double play. Chases that one out of the zone. 
Picks up strikeout number seven. Right at the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And up to hit is Wilson Contreras. Struck out swinging his first time. Wouldn't chase that time. Newt Bar off of first with two away. Pitches in for a strike and a count one and one. Right-hander deals. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. The cards leave one. They trail it here 3-0. here at Chavez Ravine John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you and leading off the bottom of the fourth James Outman and the right hander back to work and a curve is down and in count one and oh And a foul ball. The wind and the pitch. In for a strike, and it's one and two. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The punch out there, and one out now. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He popped out to the catcher his first job up. That one's in there. And that's strike one. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And into second with one away, that's a double. Everything came together for him. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. Chris Taylor will hit next. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there. That's strike one. Rip towards third. Fires across the diamond. Taylor out of the play. So digging in, Jason Hayward. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Hayward. Ball one there. Movement in the bullpen for the Cardinals. Andre Palante up and loosening in the pen. Kittredge warming up as well. Runner at second, two down. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's through there for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. At 
the belt and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. Here comes a pitch. And he chases that one. Third out. So the Dodgers leave one, but they're on top by a count of three to nothing. Back here in L.A., here's Nolan Gorman. Second baseman, Nolan Gorman. And a pitch. Wouldn't That's chase that time. You know, these Cardinals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Left-hand batter waits. That one pushed foul. Just missing there. Two balls, two strikes. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had them eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Three balls, two strikes the count. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Three, two. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Now the left fielder, Jordan Walker. He's 0 for 1. That's down and in. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Swinging. And here comes Tommy Edmond. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. In the air right field. Hayward under it. Makes the grab. One out left for the Cardinals. Now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. The Cards trailing by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. They're down to their final strike. One ball, two strikes. The Cardinals down to their final strike. In the dirt, blocked. Safe at second. And he's in to score in position with two gone on the wild pitch. Right through there, got it. And that is the ball game. This is just a nice win. 3 nothing ball game. You feel comfortable about the three runs that you scored, but you also know that if you're not careful, a bloop, a base hit, and a home run ties everything up. But it was great pitching. Timely hitting really made the difference. A shutout in this one. 3 nothing. our final score.
Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.